I will never forget the 2000 Subway series. That game one on that Saturday evening was awesome. And I was sitting at home on my couch on the Upper East Side, and I swear when Tino got driven in in the bottom of the 12th inning, I could hear the roar from Yankee Stadium all the way into Manhattan. I think of the excitement. I think of the anticipation of the game. If we could have not played the game and just captured the excitement, enthusiasm, and joy. So where was I during the uh, 2000 World Series? Hmm. Let me guess now. I think I was in the Bronx for like three days, and then I went to Queens for three days. Where the anthem's playing, you get a little nervous, you start to sweat, and you know it's coming, it's gonna be real. I was at the World Series, that's where I was. This series had its memorable moments. I was at Yankee Stadium for game one. I had my entire Met outfit on. Uh, obviously, we were disappointed there because it looked like we were going to win that game. Obviously, the Clemens uh, throwing the bat. Of course, we all know he threw it. He thought it was the ball. Uh, the intensity of that, the confusion. Do you guys really think Clemens thought that when he first chased down that shattered bat and threw it toward the first baseline, did he actually thought it was the ball? Yeah, right. All of that sort of uh, culminated, you know, what was a fantastic series, a very hard-fought series. I remember how crazy we went when the Mets won game three. Uh, my wife still refers to it as the, the night you and your mother went berserk. Yankees went in in five games, but that was a really close series. Three of the four Met losses were by one run. Man, it was it was such a tough pill to swallow, losing, losing to the evil empire. At the time, it just felt like Everything I believed about the world, about good versus evil, about what should happen, it just all got thrown out. It was just like my whole sense of, of everything just felt wrong. And I still haven't been able to bring myself to watch what, what happens after Piazza's ball gets caught by Bernie Williams. The thought of, of the Yankees celebrating at Shades, it's just way too much to, uh, to handle. As a kid growing up in Brooklyn, New York, big Mets fan, this was uh, probably the highlight for me, thinking that the Mets would really have a chance to overcome the Yankees. Didn't happen that way. Bob, I wish it had come out differently. Trying to bring the Mets a championship. Thing that we always wanted, thing that we strive for, a team goal that we all push for every day. It was one of the best rides in my life. Both teams were great. All the games were close. The series could have gone either way. A lot of those times you expect things to be, you know, they never live up to the hype. It exceeded the hype 10 times. I've covered about 20 World Series. That is as memorable as any that I've ever covered. Hall of Famers on both sides. What a great thing for baseball and for New York. The Subway World Series today would be fabulous. I just don't think it would be as good as what we saw in 2000. It's Bobby Valentine against Joe Torre, okay?